We are at Carter Rock Elementary School to meet with my constituents and hear what's on their mind. I will take the issues. What brought you here tonight? What did you want to talk about? I want to thank you and your staff for your service. The reason I'm here is I'm having an issue with Montgomery College. I'm 92 years old and I'm still driving. Good for you. Next week. All uh, right. I think it's always so important to be out in the community and listening to your community. Community. Many of us do this work and we're talking a lot, but it's actually listening that's far more important. And so I really try hard to engage in active listening with my constituents and understand what's at the root of their issues and the, what they care about and see how I can help them. I saw your letter to the governor trying to expand um, American Legion Bridge. American Legion Bridge because this community as you can tell is right there on 495. Yes. So what I would ask is as you move forward with this that you always raise the issue of having sound barriers put in at the same time. I try to hear them, try to hear the real root of their issue and try and explain how I go about my business tonight. You heard people that basically said, we would prefer for you to do your business in a different way. We'd like you to get engaged in the very beginning and tell the planners what they should do. I live very close to the West Bard uh, Shopping Center yeah. Planning Commission, yes, sir. none of whom live in West Bard or anywhere near us have come up with this incredible idea. Equity One has convinced them they don't want just a reasonable profit. They want three to one. They want to increase from 1,100 to 3,300 living units, which is crazy. You see something no. you think is wrong now, you should be talking to the Planning Commission and other okay. people now and saying, no, 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 this is the wrong direction. And that's not how I do my business. I respect the planners. I want them to do their job, and then I will do okay. my job. And I feel like there's a reason why we hire planners and have professional staff, and doesn't mean I agree with them, but I want them to do their best work. And then I want to hear, what's the rationale? Now, I have publicly challenged the chairman of the planning board on this plan to say, you better come up with a compelling rationale, because this is not the new urbanism, okay? And. The jury's out as to whether they're going to come up with a rationale that I think holds water. But I've been very forceful in expressing my concerns that this plan is going to be very awkward at best. Now, and there's no question we can do better than what we have there now. So it's finding that sweet spot. But I promise you, every point you make from this point forward will have been analyzed and I will have responded to. We own a, an assisted living in Potomac, a small one, eight bed, um, and I know you're very involved with stuff for seniors and transportation, so this sort of links it together. Mm -hmm. There was always a parking, you got parking permits, we paid per for parking permits, because we have a lot of people coming to the house, besides family and, you know, and other visitors. We have doctors, we have nurses, we have hospice, social workers, and then some. Since October 1st, there's been six tickets issued. And these are people who we've tried to get into the system. You can't do it through the computer. You have to call. It's a huge problem. If you have pieces of our county government that aren't working for you, use our office to run interference for you. What I've taken some pride in is we have great constituent service. And I see that's my job, is to make sure that if, if they got an issue like a stop sign or a traffic signal, my job is to pick up the phone and call our Department of Transportation and say, can you take care of this? And we can cut through that red tape. There have been a number of accidents at that intersection. I know that during a rush hour, if I come to River Road, it's virtually impossible to do either a left or right turn. Yeah. We're a county of a million people. If you just raise your hand all by yourself, sometimes it just won't get attended to in the time frame that satisfies you. If our office calls, it sometimes moves up a notch or two. But it is about delivering that kind of service that affects people's life on a day-to-day -day basis that is unique to local government. Mr. Morrison. Well, we can certainly uh, reach out to State Highway and to MCDOT. It, the fact is, before Board of Appeals does pose a, a timing question, yeah, we, uh, but we can definitely uh, follow up in that regard. Let us be 
your fullback running through the hole in front of you. Uh, the bikers don't usually use the bike path that was constructed. I think the reason why the biking issue is becoming more dominant out this way. They must obey traffic laws. When they come to a stop sign, they're supposed to stop. You have a lot of roads that are like MacArthur Boulevard, one lane in each direction, or River Road, one lane in each direction, in which bikers sometimes take over a lane. It's very difficult to overtake 10 bikers or 15 bikers because of the way River Road is. And uh, it's really of concern to the bikers as well as the motorists because if they do try to overtake, uh, say, 15 bicyclists, well, they may be a very fast com oncoming car. And the motorists are starting to get go a little crazy. On MacArthur Boulevard on the weekends, we have packs of bicyclists. And you can hardly go take a car down there. And so they're asking, is there, how do we have equity here? How do we, how do we manage this in a way that no one gets hurt? Uh, what can be done to sort of, uh, you know, uh, relieve the, uh, the concern for the bicyclists as well as we will to get to our destination? That they are able to drive their cars and yet bikers are still able to, to bike. But so far we haven't quite found that sweet spot. When I go to other parts of the country you see much more defined lanes. So local government is, in my judgment, the most important form of government and where you can get great gratification in delivering to your constituents. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for spending your evening with me and sharing your thoughts with me. I have heard you. Thank you all very much.